Hey guys, Joe here with HowToHotShot.com. Look, uh, so today I'm going to do a very exciting video. It's about something I probably, I'll tell you, is probably the most overlooked or the most frequently asked question that I get from guys that are out there hot shotting. Um, I have had everybody from DOT officers to other hotshot drivers that didn't even know this technology existed, and they're just completely blown away by it when I show them to uh, show them. And um, I tell you, it's something that saves me a ton of money. And what I'm talking about today is my DOT approved sleeper berth. Um, you know, I'm not going to spend much time going over this. There's a ton of literature, and I don't want to lie to you about anything or tell you anything wrong as far as like what goes into this and everything. Um, but this is pretty awesome. Now, um, if you haven't looked into this before, there are very stringent DOT guidelines as far as having a sleeper berth in any vehicle. You have to have a certain width. You have to have a certain height. You know, uh, your your mattress on your on you know on the inside of your your vehicle has to be flame resistant or flame retardant or whatever um, you know to be in there. So uh, there is a company that provides these kits. It's their company's name is as Woodhouse Sleeper Berth. Um, again, that's Woodhouse Sleeper Berth. These guys make an awesome kit. It takes, a, you know, they say that it takes about four or five hours to put all this together. Um, I think they're pretty accurate on that. I think it ended up taking me like six or seven hours. They had the kids coming out and hit me with wrenches and stabbed me with screwdrivers. You guys got kids. You probably understand that. But, um, you know, I had I had all that stuff going on, and I was just kind of taking my time, drinking a beer, putting this all together. Don't suggest doing that when you're operating power tools at all, but I did it. Um, just because I do it doesn't make it great for you guys. Um, and, and, I, and I did it. It was fairly simple to do. Um, you do have to cut out your door panels um, for for your uh, for your for your uh, your truck. Um, they, they they tell you you can't put it in, and there is a way to do, that that you can put everything back to the way the way it was. Um, it's it's you know uh, I I don't know when I you know when I turn around and sell this truck I, I will probably sell this truck with the sleeper inside of it because I think it just makes it more valuable because these trucks. Um, you're not finding them out on the road um, all the time. A lot of people are out there looking to get into hot shotting, and they'd love to see a DOT-approved sleeper berth inside their vehicle um, already set up for them. You know, it's uh, you know, it's one of those things like uh, if you have a factory one ton with the seats in the back of it, you get pulled in, you do a level one, they're going to be asking you for your receipts um, when you hit the scales. Uh, it happens to us all the time, happened to us. You know, you got to be staying in a hotel, you know, on the West Coast. It seems like the average, you know, for a hotel was about $100 a night on the East Coast. And in the South, it seemed like it was about 50 bucks a night, depending on where we stayed. Um, if we were staying in a larger city, it was going to be pretty expensive. If we were staying out in the country, kind of, or out, out, of the, out of the city, it seemed like it was going to be a little bit less. But you got to find truck parking at the hotels, and it was a hassle. And, you know, I mean, I did a lot of driving on the West Coast. Um, we had drivers that were driving on the East Coast. If you think about it, about $100 a night. Um, it gets pretty pricey with hotel rooms. Um, we actually factored it up, and in less than two months, this DOT approved sleeper berth um, actually paid for itself, and we were going to save a lot of money to do it, so we ended, went ahead and did it. Um, one of the things that makes this a DOT approved sleeper berth is the restraint system that you have in above the bed. Uh, it's pretty awesome. You know, you got to have it clipped in when you're sleeping in the back, whether, you know, um, you're, you're stationary, you're moving down the road. I'm not really sure if it's legal to go down the road with it like this. I'd look into that if you do it. But um, it's actually considered like a seatbelt system or a restraint system that goes in here. And that's a part of what makes this a legal bed to operate. Again, I said like this is a, 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 a flame retardant or flame resistant bed um, that goes in here. That's a part of the guidelines. And then you get this cool storage space um, that allows you to store stuff underneath the bed, um, you know, because there's this whole frame system and a hinged storage space that allows you to store things under the bed. Um, all in all, I think it's an awesome system. Believe it or not, the bed's actually pretty comfortable. I'm 6'2", and, um, you know, I like to really stretch out when I'm sleeping. And, you know, I just by a half an inch have to kind of curl my, my toe in, but... Uh, um, you know, it, it is a very comfortable bed and, you know, for being in a one ton doing your own thing, I, I got a camera system in there. I picked up, I think for 15 bucks at a thrift store so I can watch movies at night and stuff and, and tie it in. It's, it's, it's awesome. Uh, your windows do not go up and down on the rear end, um, with this because you got to take out the motor and all that. 
um, but you still have the windows up in the front. You have the doors and everything. Uh, you do have to take out your passenger seat um, in the truck because a part of it is is is, is having unduly access to and 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 from the this this um, the steering compartment and uh, having access in and out of the vehicle. Um, so you know when I do this, I just crack the windows at night, and you know that way I can keep good oxygen flow going around in, in, inside the cab, and and I just knock out, and it's it's a it's a pretty awesome thing. So again, the name of that company is Woodhouse Sleeper Birth. Um, these guys are great. They're pretty much the only company that I know of that is actually making a conversion for a one ton. I know that there was a company, and I'm not sure if they're still in, in business anymore. I think they were a Canadian-based company uh, that did a bubble window setup. And so what it was is it, it, was, a, it was a replacement for your window on the rear end, and, and it kind of bubbled out and gave you that extra foot length or foot room that, that was required for the DOT-approved sleeper berth. The bed actually sat up higher so that you had, you know, the leg and headroom. But it's kind of weird when you think about it because your head is, is basically sticking out of the window. And if you're like running team, it's kind of like sleeping like, you know, with your, it's weird. Um, but, you know, a kind of a cool process. I looked into that um, to see how much those were and, and I wanted to get some more information on that. Sent some emails, a ton of emails over to the manufacturer and... Uh, and I never got anything back, and I did hear from a bunch of, uh, or did hear on a bunch of blogs and stuff that that maybe these guys went out of business, or there was a lawsuit or something. Not really sure what's going on with that. But if those guys want to reach out to me and they want to give me some information, I'd love to rep their product and kind of talk about uh, um, what I see is is pros and cons with what they got and get that information out there because I think that'd be awesome for everybody to kind of have a choice on on what they got going on. But. Overall, I love this thing. I think it was a great investment, and um, you know, I think that more guys should get into this, um, you know, in, in, into something like this product here because um, you know it's a, it's it's a huge money saver as far as is, is saving you cash going on down the road. Look, if you guys got any questions, feel free to shoot them on over. I'll try and uh, do my best to to get you the answers, um, you know, to this you know to this product or or you know whatever I can, and I'll try and get you the information to whoever can get you it. If, if I can't answer it. Um, if you haven't hit like, hit like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do if you feel like it. i got a whole bunch of other stuff coming your way. I'm Joe with HowToHotShot.com, and I'll see you in the next one.